Hey everybody, it's Michael Waddell with another edition of Outdoor Bites. No introduction needed for this man right here. If hey. you, I'm gonna tell you, if anybody's ever chased a deer or hunted at all, they know Roger Raglan, buddy. And it's an honor to be sitting right here chatting hey, with hey, you, man. The honor's all mine, Michael. Holy cow, I mean, I'm telling you, we were just chatting just before we started rolling. You, Noel Feather, the Winslow brothers, I mean, Y'all were, it should be uh, Bush Hog Outdoors because y'all Bush Hog Trails that we're on today. I mean, we're in Vegas, talk, you know, here Outdoor Channel, Sportsman's Channel, and dude, if y'all hadn't got that big old swather out and started cutting way back yeah. in the 70s, yeah. Roger. Yeah, it was, it was you, know, you, you get a kick out of this, Michael, at the Archery Trade Show, which was last week. Right. I was I was sitting, having dinner with some young pups, yep. right? and I, I got to talking about when we started, Recording on uh, three quarter inch tape. Yeah, they didn't have a clue what I was talking no, about. No, three quarter. Yeah, three quarter inch tape. Twenty minutes, and with a deck, had a separate deck to record. <laughs> yeah, was... yeah, that, that's what we went up a tree every morning with. You know, <laughs> it, 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 people have no idea in the business now the equipment that we worked with and shot on you, but we got it done. It was big and expensive. Big and expensive. Lord, and then it changed to beta. But y'all were way before beta. Way before beta. Way right, before beta. Right, yeah. Oh, I got a sixty thousand dollar beta cam. I use it as a doorstop now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's useless, you know. But... I remember that. I, re I remember uh, seeing on those first beta cameras, and you know, I started working for Bill Jordan, and he said, "Hey, take this camera, and try to video some turkeys." And I and I said, "Man," he said, "Man, be careful." He said, "It's about a sixty seventy thousand dollar camera. <laughs> this is more in my house." Yeah. Oh yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Times change. Times change. It you know? has, man. What? What do you see the biggest difference, Roger, between when y'all first started the Trailblazers? Because then y'all was making VH the first videos I saw. It was VHS tapes VHS, that y'all right, had made, right. and I just loved your enthusiasm. And me and my dad would sit and watch you and kill deer. And of course, the Jiminy Christmas, you could tell you were so happy, you were so enthusiastic. And um, and I remember me and my dad, we'd, we'd go to these Buckaramas and hope to run into you. And uh, it, we never met you back then. I want to start working in the industry. I did, but what's What's the difference between, say, then and now? It's the technology. Yeah. It's just incredible. Yeah. The technology. You know, I I can't. I, I stopped over in the booth a while ago, just you know, just looking at a scope. It had nine knobs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it should have two. You know, which one's for the up and down? Which one's for the left and right? You know, but the, yeah. the technology is what's incredible, and the the quality of of the equipment. Man, those old bows we used to shoot with. You know, oh, yeah. Well, if the buck's 25 yards, you got to sweat, <laughs> sweat that one out. There's no range finder, so you would think, I, no, I think no he's range 25 finders. or 30. No trail cameras. Imagine no trail that, cameras. Mike. We Just killed him without trail cameras. You I know, know it. We read sign. Exactly. You know, read sign and spent many hours in a tree stand. You know? Many, many hours. I've logged, I know, over 100,000 hours in a tree stand in my life. I, I believe it. Yeah. Probably more. Yeah, could be. Could Probably be, more. You know? I mean, it, it it is amazing uh, when you when you look back, and and what y'all are doing with the equipment, and then you know you you looked at the hunting community and the industry, that too has changed. Obviously, you got social media, you got all these things, and and uh, and it, it, you know it's funny. I'm I'm I feel like I get even old for the social media, but Lord, we're all on there now. It's just it's just you got to jump hey, in there. I had a meeting yesterday with a long-standing company that I don't worry about right you know, now you and i know what i'm talking yeah, about yeah they're, they're, they're yeah. family and yeah. i said uh he said i got to get the contract i said you we have i thought we did our contract he goes no i got to get that out to you he goes we got a new marketing guy you know she's about 19. no she's older yeah. than that but <laughs> yeah he goes and part of it you, know, you got to do we're gonna have to do reels and i said well, i ain't doing much fishing uh <laughs> You know, and just so everybody knows, my fishing poles all have a button on them. You know, there you go. And real, what's a real? You know, so I mean, social media and all this stuff. It's just mind-boggling what you got to get your fingers into now. It's unbelievable. And, uh, but there's one thing, Michael, that hasn't changed. Let me tell you something. When you've been waiting and that buck comes in, and that heart gets to pumping, and you got you feel that thing that money can't buy. You know. And you either with a bow or with a rifle get that sucker on the ground. That's as good as life gets right there. Oh, that's good. Th there's stuff. no doubt. There, it just doesn't change. And you, that exact illustration and that feeling, that is what always is sold. It sold me. 
I remember I was like, man, I would do anything. I just want to go kill a deer with Roger Ragland because you, you, you knew how to sell that energy of what it really was, your excitement. And, the, and dude, you don't even realize this. Well, maybe you do and you, you should, but like when I think of you, immediately I'm thinking like of the Jimmy Houston's, the, the Bill Dance, because you guys were the first, in my personal opinion, to, to help people that even didn't hunt understand the emotion that come with it, whether it's hunting and fishing. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I appreciate that. But it, but it, I still feel that. So we, we you were, still in, do, yeah. in, uh, Michael, we were in South Texas on our first hunt. I spent a lot of time going south now instead of yeah. north. You know, yeah. As I get older, I just appreciate a little bit warmer weather. I know? do too. <laughs> <laughs> I see a little gray in that. I, look, I look at that. Look I'm, at that. I'm, just, there. I see I'm a heading gray. south. I'm this, heading. I've known this guy since he was just a bean pole about a little, little skinny kid blowing on a turkey call. No you doubt. Know? No yeah, doubt. Yeah. But 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 I'm telling you, we're in South Texas, and this toad is out there about 80 yards, and he goes back into the brush. And I went, and I'm, and of course, my son Josh, my partner, I, I said, "You see that one?" You say, "Oh man, man!" I mean, I got fired up. I mean, he was a toad, and Josh said, "Well, he might." We're hunting an old field. He goes, "He might come around here about 15 minutes." Here he, here he come. I mean. <sighs> I'm just, and he's coming, he's about 35 yards. I'm shooting a crossbow. Yeah. We're in a blind, you know, and I'm getting, and just quartering to me just a little bit. And I, I thought, man, I want to get him, you know, and he's, and he's starting to, and I, he, I, so I nad him, just, it, yeah. and it spooked him. He runs. I don't know where that went. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he turned, he, and he stopped out there, and he, boy, I just had a little old bitty window there, and about, yeah. about 40 yards, and I, boy. I hit him just perfect. Put it on. Just put just perfect. And I got to that uh, up to that deer. I'm just, I mean, I'm about in tears. I was so excited. Josh just, he goes, You still got it, Dad. I said, Oh my God, I still feel it, son. I was so excited and proud yeah. of that deer. You know, hundred not a giant, 140 inch deer though. Yeah, absolutely. Dandy, a dandy man. You know, it's it's funny you speak of that. Do you feel like now, you know, you talk about it, it almost brings a tear to you. Do you feel like now, Roger? Looking back and all the success you had, does it even mean more now than it even did then? Well, I don't know if it means more. Or appreciation, but, but, you know. But but I but I it just I it just doesn't ever get old. I mean yeah. I I just I just can't explain it. You know, and I got you know the uh, Lord has blessed me. I've got a really beautiful trophy room. You know, yeah. you, you couldn't cram another deer on it. You know, right. But that's not why I'm doing it now. I mean, there was a time that I I wanted to build. I'm, you know, you I want to mount this, boat, I want yeah. this deer, I want to mount this deer, you know, and, but now I just have a pile. <laughs> yeah, stacked <laughs> you know? them up. Yeah, and, uh, but, but I'm not doing it to put one on the wall. I'm doing it because I just, I just love it. I'm, I'm just a deer hunter and I appreciate it so much because I meant, Michael, I went so many years without shooting one, buddy. Yeah. I know what it's like to go to public land or drive all hundreds of miles, you know, and not shoot one. Put in the hours, put in the time, you know. And when I finally got to where I started having success, I never forgot that feeling of not having one. Yes. You know. Yes. You know, and it's. I, I mean, and I, I still, we still go occasionally and don't get one. I like it better when we get one. I do too. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> hey, buddy, I am so proud of you, though. This Thank guy you, right Roger. here, I've watched him. I won't say watched him grow up, but through the years, you know. And we we started actually TV the same year in '03. That's right. With real tree road trips, real and trips. it just took life off like a rocket because we knew it would. But you, you, you've done such a great job for this industry, you know, and, and kept kept a, a certain amount of humility. No, yeah, no, oh, absolutely. You, no, you've I, been, I understand you've been that, um, yeah. humble about it, and I, I appreciate everything that you've done in the industry and how and how well you've done. And uh, it's an honor to just be your friend. Well, same you. here, buddy. And you know, my last question I wanted to even have was even speaking of that because for me. And I'm 100% sincere, it was you. It was, you know, even even Babe Winkman back in the day, the first people I ever saw VHS tapes were, you know, Babe was syndicating shows and we lived out in the country and you saw VHS tapes. I bought your VHS ta tapes, um, the Winslow brothers, you know, I can name a bunch, but um, what would you tell somebody this day and age, a young, a young man or young woman who's wanting to get involved in the hunting industry, what would be your advice for them? Well, just, you know, just be yourself you know, and if the passion is there, uh, you know, I'm a piano player, and uh, uh, it was Beethoven that actually said, you know, it's okay to play and make mistakes. 
as long as you have, but it's, it's, it's unforgivable to play and, and not have emotion, you know. And so I tell you, just be yourself. And if you feel it down inside, if you really have that drive, then, then you'll, you'll be all right, you know. Just, but you gotta be yourself and you've gotta, gotta have that feeling down in here that, that nobody can put in you. It's got to be there. you you got to have it, you know. I agree, man. Well, yeah. you've done it all these hey, years, buddy. Roger. It means Thanks. a lot to sit here Thanks. with you and chat. And well, well I'm, I'm, I'm just glad to be time. anywhere. So I can't <laughs> wait. I'm so excited about getting a picture because I'm sending it to my dad. I, I, he always asks me, yeah. you running old Roger? Yeah. And so, uh, yeah. anyway. A good deal. Heck Appreciate yeah, buddy. you, buddy. You too, Roger. Thanks for the kind words. We certainly hope you enjoyed Outdoor Bites with me, Michael Waddell. Thank you all for watching.